Hello all, it's me Jyotida Banani and can you guess where I have been? I went to the Uttarakhand mountains. I swam a lot. I had lots of fun and just fun in general. And that's why I have not been uploading. Sorry about that. But today I have a very interesting topic which is a solution to the Fermi paradox. And I think you all have wondered about this down the line. I'm sure about it. If you haven't, then just let me doubt know in the comment section below. But you probably wonder this. Where are the aliens? Well, that's the paradox. Just where are the aliens? And the great filter, which is the name of the one of the solutions to the Fermi paradox. And the great filter is what I'm going to be talking about for today. Okay? So, let's get into it. So, just basically, if we find aliens, is that good? No. You might think it's good, but it's actually not. That wouldn't be good news at all. It could mean that we are doomed and practically already dead in the time scale of the universe. Yes, that's true. Why could something so... Why could something that we work basically like what feels for forever finally come true just to be bad? Well, that's the that's the great filter. So before I tell you about why, first I'm going to tell you about like the starting of life on Earth, basically just molecules, all the way till us now. So first there are just molecules which assemble to DNA and then into cells. And a very specific thing happened after cells. One big cell ate a smaller cell. But instead of eating it, it formed, you could say like an alliance with the smaller cell. Okay? So, the bigger cell would provide protection and would take care of interacting with the outside world and providing food to the smaller cell. And with its new home and basically guardian, it could now stop focusing on survival and now focus on providing energy for the bigger cell. And what the smaller cell's name? Mitochondria. It's in like a biology class. The mitochondria is like the most popular biology thing in the world, that I think. But anyways, after that, those cells formed multicellular beings. And then that made so much complexity and variety possible. And then they evolved big brains. But also big brains are a very big investment because they don't help in the boxing match and they require so much energy. So maybe a big brain isn't that helpful. But then like a civilization then wants to escape Earth. You might be telling duty what if a civilization does not want to leave the planet well probably a universal constant not probably it is like super likely to be a universal constant that aliens or us want to escape their own planet because planets have finite resources and finite space what happens when overpopulation gets too high or uh, resources get too low we have to search for more resources and more space by traveling to other planets. So it's called the universal content. You all probably understand that now, right? So the great filter is basically a, like a wall that's preventing the aliens from doing one of the steps that we did. There are two scenarios. Scenario A, that the great filter is behind us. We are very, very lucky and the first, number one, we are the first in the race to, not actually a race, but we are the first to jump over that wall, the great filter. What step could it be? Could it be like the big cell eating the small cell or the investment of the brain because like I said, maybe a big brain isn't that helpful and we are just extremely lucky that work out for us or it could be like some other thing I don't know it could be any or 
scenario 2 aka scenario B the filter in front of us that would be very bad but since we already can't see aliens are since we already can't see aliens, then probably they already died out before. Like small filters before us. And if we were in those great filters, one of those smaller great filters, there's not really a great filter because we were covered. It's just a locked door. I know that you know that like some people get caught and just destroyed, like the other alien civilizations, but us we got a lock pick. So we just entered the house. That's just an example. And then we will face another door made of iron with security guards that we probably won't survive. Yes, the great filter is ahead of us if we find any life. The more forming life is in the universe and the more advanced it is, the higher likely it is that the great filter is in front of us. Yes. It's very terrible. Like bacteria would be bad. Small animals worse. Intelligent beings. Oh my god, that would be alarming. And ruins of ancient civilizations. I would be. That would be super duper bad. Yes. So maybe finding alien civilizations isn't good. Not good at all. But also one more thing I'll discuss. With you. What do you think that great filter that wiped out all the civilizations could be? Because we all, we think that alien civilizations have millions more more years to develop than us. So what would be the catastrophic event? It could be maybe a galactic civilization wanted to power itself with a black hole, but it went wrong. Go check my galactic power video. It it tells you hmm, how we can power a galactic civilization that we will most likely become if there's no great filter in front of us. Yeah. Or maybe it could be just natural. Once a civilization takes control of its atmosphere and can change the composition of it, it just creates chain reactions that are unstoppable and will render the air toxic to them. Or it could just wipe out the air entirely, it could be robots, it could be anything, maybe a virus, I don't know, or a thing that we don't even see coming, yeah, anything, it could be literally anything, so we just have to hope that all the planets in the Milky Way are devoid of life, but that means that we don't have to face any alien competitors that we might need to start wars with and yet the military will just use open hands to give us a hug and introduce us to our new home that will be the Milky Way because then we won't have to face any difficulties or wars with any alien civilizations so not all bad and that's the end of the video I hope you liked it if you do remember to absolutely smash that like button and click the subscribe button so you never miss any new videos for now 